Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be setting up your external hard drive. So here's our external hard drive. We can see it right here. Don't worry if you don't see it on your desktop, something like this. It could be any icon, any color. By the way, it doesn't have to be exactly this one. It depends what Mac OS you guys are at. But anyways, let's just get down to it. So before we do anything, you guys should format it. So right here in Disk Utility, we're going to click right there. And formatting means that everything inside that external hard drive will be erased, will be deleted. This is to make it work on your Mac and PC as well. So if you guys are watching this, I'm going to show you all that stuff. But everything has to be deleted from the external hard drive in order for us to do that. All right, so let's get started. Under Disk Utility, by the way, if you guys don't see Disk Utility down here below, it looks exactly like this. Just look for it in your spotlight search, which is up here. Just click on your spotlight search, type in disk utility, and you guys should see it right there. So that's how disk utility looks like. Just click on it, open it up, and you guys will see this. So right here under disk utility, you guys will see on your left hand side, two things, internal and external. So I'm going to zoom in even more for you guys. Under external, you guys should see your external hard drive. Okay, it doesn't really matter which brand you guys have, it's the same setup for all of them. The external hard drive, it's basically a huge USB stick. That's the easiest way to look at it. And the way that you guys should set up for your Mac, we're gonna do a time machine backup, and then we're gonna handle it like a USB stick as well. So I'm gonna show you those two things. So right here, we should format this in order for it to be compatible with Mac and PC. So that's the first thing I'm going to show you guys. So right here under erase, again, it's going to delete everything within that external hard drive. We're going to format it right here. If we click right here, XFAT. XFAT will be compatible with Mac and PC. So right now, if you guys click on erase, you guys are good to go. So that's formatting your external hard drive in order to be compatible with Mac and PC. That's all you guys are looking for. Then that's it for this video. You guys are done. You guys can just go drag and drop stuff into your external hard drive and you're set. However, most of you want this to be a backup of your Mac. So we have to take this one step further. We can still do this thing of making it compatible with Mac and PC. However, if you guys are going to use Time Machine to back up your entire computer, it's best to format it in a slightly different way. So that means we should make a partition. So I'm just going to show you what I mean by that. So if we click on Erase again, we're going to see these options. Journaled, if you guys pick that, that's only if you guys want to format this for Mac. So if you plug this into a PC, it's not going to be able to read it. So if that's what you guys want, you guys could also do that. Just click on Erase right now. Oh, and by the way, before you guys go, if you guys are having problems with your PC, I've seen this problem with older PCs, you guys might need to pick this XFAT and then pick this second option. So if you guys pick this option with older PCs, you guys should be fine. With newer PCs, this is okay. I'm going to erase. I'm going to make it journaled. That means it's only for Mac. I'm going to erase it. And there we go. So erase is formatting. Again, it's deleting everything within it. So hopefully you guys have no documents within this external hard drive. So right now we're just waiting for this to be done. And again, this will only work throughout Max, which is a good thing because then no viruses can get around, right? So let's just click on done. And then let's just go into partition. So partitioning, it's really cool because this way I can partition my external hard drive into various parts. So just to show you what I mean by that, I'm going to click on this plus sign down here below. And I just created two. So right now my Mac, it's not that it thinks that it's two external hard drives, but it kind of treats them like two separate external hard drives. So there's this half and then there's this half. So this half, for example, I could name this PC, just PC. And I can format this to be compatible with PC. Okay, so this will be compatible with both Mac and PC. Now, this half, I could make it just for Mac. Okay, so I have this just for Mac, where I'm gonna put in my time machine actually, and this part just for PC, which is also compatible with Mac, by the way. 
if you guys want to add more stuff into it, sure. Just click on the plus sign and you guys can move this thing around in order to add more gigs into one part or the other. So let's say I want a small part just for Mac, just to transfer files between Macs and keep it safe from, you know, viruses from PCs. And this, I'm gonna make my main thing that's gonna be Time Machine. So I'm gonna name it Time Machine. You guys can name it whatever you guys want. And then I'm just gonna click on apply or you guys can click anywhere else. It's gonna apply that change right now. So I can see that this Time Machine, I am formatting as journaled. Mac, I'm formatting also as journaled and PC. XFAT, okay? That's what you guys want. So you guys could just have two partitions or three like me right now, okay? So I'm just gonna click on apply, partition, and it's gonna divide my external hard drive into three parts. So it's kind of going to read my external hard drive like it was three external hard drives. And if you plug this into your PC, you're only gonna be able to see that one partition that we named PC. We're not gonna be able to see the one that we named Time Machine or Mac on a PC. Once this is done, you guys should see this. So, successful. If you guys have an error with it, don't worry, it's no big deal. Just erase it again. Don't do the partitioning right away. Just erase it again, just all as journaled, and then start over. It's no big deal, those errors happen. So, we're just gonna click on Done. Now we see these three parts, Mac, Time Machine, and PC. So I'm gonna show you that on my desktop. So on my desktop, I see these three things. So one's Mac, one's Time Machine, one's PC. Again, you guys could just have PC and Time Machine. So if I open this up, it's empty. If I open that up, it's also empty. And I open this up, it's empty. So if I want to transfer files right now, I can just do it by click and drag, click and drag, right? So I'm actually gonna stop that operation because these are humongous files. So I'm gonna stop that, stop that. But that's how you guys would copy and paste anything into this, just like a USB stick. And that's the simplest way to explain an external hard drive. So we're gonna set up Time Machine because a lot of you want to back up your Mac and Time Machine's the best thing to do that because it backs up everything. So right here under System Preferences, if you guys don't see it down there, again, just like your spotlight search, type in System Preferences. Okay, so open up your system preferences. I'm gonna put this on the side. It's taking some time to stop that copying because those were huge files. Anyways, we're done with disk utility. And right here, under system preferences, you guys will see Time Machine right here. Okay, so that's down here below. All of you guys have Time Machine. It's pre-built into your Mac and it's really cool. So let's just click on it. So, most of you will not see this already because I already have two time machines hooked up. I'm gonna add this additional one that we just did right now. And see this check mark? You guys will be able to do that in a second. So you guys can just click right now and add a remove. And we're gonna add in our time machine, which is down here. So remember we named it time machine. Technically, you guys can even make this your time machine. It doesn't really matter. Or even your PC, but since we named this one time machine, might as well use disk. Once you guys do that, you guys will see it right here. So I just added it and this is it. All right. So what does time machine do? Time machine backs up your entire computer. That means it backs up your software, your Mac OS, plus all your files. Okay, if you guys have pictures, everything, it backs it up. Everything on Photos app or iPhotos, if you guys are back in iPhotos, that's also gonna be backed up. So Time Machine is great because of that. And something that you guys should check on is this bottom part. Just make sure you have, guys have a check mark right there and a check mark right here. Okay, so once you guys do that, if I zoom out a little bit, let me just show you guys what's going on up here. Okay, see this icon? You guys will see that up there. And if you guys click on it, you guys can start your backup now. Or you guys can enter Time Machine. So if you guys maybe erased a file last week, for example, and you want to retrieve it, you guys can actually enter Time Machine, go into that exact date and retrieve that file. So that's how Time Machine works. Now let's say your Mac crashes or you just bought a new Mac and you want to transfer everything. Same deal, 
you plug in Time Machine, your external hard drive, into your new Mac, and you guys can just copy over everything using Time Machine. It's actually an option. I do have a separate video showing you guys that, and I do have a separate video showing you guys more about Time Machine. But for now, all you guys need to know is that Time Machine will back up your entire computer. You guys can retrieve any files that you erased with Time Machine, and you can also go back in time. So that means if you know a virus gets inside your Mac, which is almost never, ever, ever, you guys could go back in time before that happened, or before you made an update, or before you did something. You guys can go back in time, and that's why the name of this is Time Machine. So right now it's preparing my backup, and it's gonna make my first backup. Now it's gonna take quite a while. While it's doing that, I can copy and paste files into here and share all my stuff. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.